Hey guys, as you can tell by my beard, I haven't made a video in a long fucking time. But, I'm back. And you guys want shit stories. Well, here's the fucking granddaddy of them all. So, many years ago, I used to work in the Burbank, Glendale area for a video game company. And, uh, they were cheap bastards. They kept us as temps and only let us work for 10 months out of the year. And then give us a couple months off. And then the temp service would call up and say... Uh, do you guys, do you want to come back to work? So this happened to me and I said, yeah, I'll come back because I didn't have anything else going on at the time. Now I was living in Ventura, uh, California on my sailboat. And I told a couple stories about that in my videos. One of which when I got food poisoning and I got out of the boat and threw up and puked at the same time and then fell into the water during a holiday weekend with people everywhere. So that put the FU in fun. But this story fucking beats that as far as I'm concerned. So my first day back at this job, I'm in my big fuck off truck that I call the Pork Truck Express. Um, it, it, you know, it's a beater truck. It wasn't one of those big fancy fucking high ass diesels that guys drive with shiny rims and has doesn't have a speck of dirt on it and they got little peckers. I mean, this truck, like if you saw this, you'd be like, ah, that guy's probably a grower, not a shower. Anyway. So I'm in the Pork Chop Express, I'm heading to work, and my stomach was upset. Once I got up and over the Conejo grade, I kind of felt like, fuck, I, need, I should probably think about finding a bathroom. But I just kept going, and the further I got towards work, the worse I started to feel. And once I got past 405, it was starting to get to be a serious matter. So I start looking, as I'm driving, looking for places I could pull off, and I'd see a a shitty gas station. I'm like, no, I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. So I'm looking for like a Denny's or something. And then I, I would see one as I went past the off ramp. And I'm like, fuck. So I'm trying to find like a Chevron or something like that. And once I get closer to, uh, I believe 170, um, I hit a standstill. Traffic's not fucking moving. And my, I'm sweating and I got the sewing machine let going. I'm in trouble. And I'm like, fuck. So I'm sitting there for like 15, 20 minutes. Traffic's not fucking moving. At all. And there's the shoulder was a fairly sized shoulder there. There wasn't like a, a you know, a retaining wall there. that kind of had like some gravel stuff. Like you could pull off in there. And I'm like, alright, I need to come up with a plan here. So here was my plan. I put it in reverse. Backed up a couple feet. Put it in drive. And I pulled off onto that shoulder and I had plenty of room right there. And my plan was, I was gonna pop the hood and turn on my hazards and lift the hood like I got engine trouble. And I was gonna grab this rag I, I had for checking the oil and shit like that. I was gonna wipe my ass with this fucking dirty rag. And I was gonna hide on the other side of the truck so I could shit. That plan didn't happen. Because as soon as I pulled over, turned on the hazards, popped the hood, had it in part. As soon as I took off that seat belt, it started to flow. And I mean bad. Like a geyser. It started coming out of me. I kool aid it out of the truck and yanked my pants down. And I made it just in time before I sold myself. But I fucking rooster tailed several feet. And... I didn't get to the other side of the truck. I was right there at the driver's door. And everybody that's stuck in traffic is watching me shit everywhere. And when I mean everybody, everybody. Because they, I caught their attention by backing out and getting off on the shoulder there. So they looked over. They saw that. So they're watching what's going on. What's going on with this guy? Oh my God. He just pulled his pants down. Jesus, Palomino, look at that. So that's what happened. And how do I know this? It's because everybody started honking their fucking horns at once. Now, because I'm so close to every everybody and everything, I pulled my shirt up like this, and I'm thinking people are going to pull out their fucking phones, and they're gonna, it's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be bad. And I'll... And, and, yeah. Uh, so... I started like kind of turning like this and like that. 
so people couldn't really see my face because of all the cars there. As I was shitting, I was doing this. So, and it was like one of those, you know, remember those metal sprinklers in the 80s? I go, that's what I was doing. And I got to tell you, I came close to a couple cars. And the horns are just going nuts. And I finished, wiped my ass with the rag. I kept my shirt up over my face. I got in the truck and I just kind of hid down a little bit. And then I just kind of looked up. Lo and behold, traffic started to move again. So I turned on my signal, put it in drive, and I went to merge in. And there was a big rig. And the driver, his eyes were like the size of cue balls. And he just went and just waved me in. And I gave him the. Thumbs up. Thanks for thanks for letting me in. And uh, I got to work. And nobody said anything. Because I wasn't... I, I'm sure there were other people that were on that highway that saw that that worked there. Went on YouTube. Didn't see a video of me shitting all over the fucking highway. But instead on YouTube, you had me talking about me shitting all over the fucking freeway. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And guys, who would have thought that 10 months ago when I, during COVID, when I stuck in this fucking house and nothing to do that I you know, posted a funny story about a Pringles can size shit and a Target, that this would give me this many subscribers in the last couple of days. It blows me away big time. And this is fucking weird. But I love you guys. Thank you. Thanks for the subscriptions. Yeah, if you like this video and my, my stories, click like subscribe doesn't cost you anything and i got a twitch channel it's in the down below you can follow me there too it doesn't cost you a dime and i do play games on twitch and tell dick and fart jokes and stuff like that so i'd love to have you hang out with me there and uh i did write a, a story called how to talk to your cat about the coronavirus and this is when uh, i was stuck in the house with the cat so it's a little funny haha -ha deal that i did on amazon that's also in the in the links so, guys, this is uh, blowing me away. <laughs> Fucking really is. So, stay tuned. I'm going to start throwing more content your way. You guys are going to get it. But make sure you hit like and subscribe. That way uh, you'll get notified whenever I, I post up another shit story. Because I got another one. Fucking, I got another one. And this was fucking really bad. This one um, doesn't involve me directly. But just a little teaser. Uh involves a when i used to joust on horseback with this group these two guys that were jousting got into a some kind of weird prank war and it involved shit right in the middle of a fucking show in front of a couple thousand people at the largest renaissance fair in california and it was a shit show all right guys see ya